When they told me that they expected us to make an arrested landing on a carrier, I knew they were putting me on. They just had to switch us to copters and land us safely on the deck. But when we were 200 miles out over the South China Sea in a ridiculous plane called the C-2A, and the pilot headed for flight deck at 130 miles an hour, I did what any red-blooded American would do. I turned green. <laughs> Notice that smiling face. You thought I couldn't act. There's Les Brown, and he isn't acting. I was still complaining the next morning when we started our show on the flight deck. Too hot for this. Put that in my trunk, man. That's going to be a big story connected to that where I was a hero or something. Put that in. My <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm very thrilled to be here. On where are we? <laughs> Board the USS Rangers. There you are. How do you get those seats? Are they Republicans? What is that? Even the Jolly Green Giant couldn't hang ten on this surfboard. <laughs> now, this is a great ship for liberty. The other end's in Hong Kong. <laughs> and for anybody who hates being here on this boat, how'd you like to be here without it? wait to leave this raft because we're going to be launched by catapult. <laughs> I hope everything goes back into place. <laughs> Did you see the landing we made on this carrier yesterday? Tell me, were the wings folded when we landed? <laughs> I haven't been hooked like that since vaudeville. <laughs> now, if you see a pair of jockey shorts buzzing the bridge, they're mine. If you hear a few strange sounds now and then, that's what's causing the trouble up there. The radar. The Admiral was kind of chicken and wouldn't turn it off. And now here to take over the show is the Lawrence Olivier of Broadway. A great guy and a wonderful vocalist, Earl Wilson. Thank you, fellas. You know, back in the States, we've heard the civilian and naval experts' opinions of the war. But I've been asked by my newspaper editors to find out the facts from the one man who would really know what's happening out here, the average seaman. So I ask your personnel officer for the enlisted man who'd been stationed on the Ranger the longest. And I'd like to talk to him now. Won't you please step out here? Okay, Mac, what do you want painted? <laughs> Anything painted. That's the way it is in the Navy, Mac. We paint it, and if we can't paint it, we polish it, and if we can't polish it, we promote it. Commander, <laughs> this isn't a work detail. I'd like to ask you a few questions. And first, uh, what is your name? Donnelly, William Donnelly. <laughs> That's a very famous name. Well, that should be. I'm the head painter. <laughs> You mean you're in charge? No, I mean I paint the heads. <laughs> Bill, if I may call you that, and I'm not too familiar with service insignia, what is your rank? Apprentice seaman. Apprentice seaman? But what are all those stripes? Whip marks. 